In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups, the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. I don't know why I'm here. Judge, the, le the letters that have been coming to your honor, uh, the derogatory berating of my services in this case, uh, I can't effectively represent her. Uh, I, she doesn't trust me. She calls me a, a dud, I think, a buffoon, uh, on and on and on and on. And no one should have to endure that type of uh, derogatory comments and expect to effectively represent someone, especially in a murder case. Now she's taking matters into her own hands by crafting essentially a help wanted ad that she hopes will generate the attention to any attorney looking to represent her in her upcoming trial. The handwritten ad was included in a six page letter to Judge Michael Kranick dated on July 8th. In the letter, like many others written before it, Boone writes to the judge asking for what she believes she'll need for her trial. On the first page of the letter, Boone writes in part, where's my discovery? I'm still waiting for you to provide me with the contents of what former attorney Cashman supplied to you and the court at the surprise status hearing held in secret on June 28th. Your designated clock of unfair judgment ticks empty and incessantly while waiting for you to deliver. As usual, it's in your favor. And your nonchalant, relaxed, unconcerned attitude of me to receive you are robbing me of precious, life-saving time to fully and properly defend myself. Cashman, who Boone refers to in her letter, is Patricia Cashman, Boone's eighth court-appointed attorney, who in June requested to be removed from Boone's case, citing irreconcilable differences. In the judge's response to Cashman's motion, Judge Kranick wrote, As of June 26, 2024, this case has been pending four years, three months, five days from the date of the filing of the information on March 23rd of 2020. Actions speak louder than words. Although defendant's words seemingly reveal a desire to go to trial, however, as set forth herein, her actions and inability to work with court-appointed counsel are repeated over and over. Ms. Boone, good morning. Could you please raise your right hand so Madam Clerk can swear you in? Dave Cacciatore on behalf of the state. Um, we also have a representative from Prison Break Investigation. Sir, if you could come forward, please. Okay, very good. Uh, the reason the court had this hearing this morning is the court has found that Ms. Boone has forfeited her right to counsel uh, and waived her right to counsel alternatively by virtue of her conduct in this case. As such, Ms. Boone is currently representing herself. Um, the court has been working diligently to provide you the discovery. I received your letter, ma'am, and I have reviewed it. We have not forgotten about you. It's just taken some time in order to coordinate the appropriate processes with the jail. In conversations with the jail, a laptop has been secured and will be issued to you after USB drives are provided with all the discovery. The laptop and USB device will be available daily to you, Ms. Boone, between 0800 and 1600 hours. Um, the discovery was provided at the court previously and is in the two bankers boxes that are in front of the court to your left, Mr. Um, Lane. I'm going to order your, you, sir, to take possession and custody of that discovery that was provided to the court previously on June 28, 2024. You, through Prison Break Investigations, shall copy all of the discovery onto as many USB jump, jump drives as necessary. At that point in time, Prison Break Investigations yeah. shall hand deliver all USB jump drives containing the discovery to the representative from the Orange County Jail in order to be placed onto the laptop that is currently secured and to be issued to the defendant for all trial and court preparation. Okay, you'll be given a copy of the order that I just read from. Ms. Boone, you'll also be copied, given a copy of the order. As you are now representing yourself, the court cannot have any hearings regarding your case without you being here. I put on the record and explained to you the process that the court has had with communications with the jail. I'm not allowed to look at any of that. I'm not allowed to copy any of that. So in speaking with the jail and understanding that you still have a private investigator that was provided to you through the state that's being compensated by the state, you're still allowed to utilize his services. The protections of the attorney-client privilege are still applicable to him. So he's able to review any of these documents, ensure that they are safely copied without violating any terms of the privileges. Those will then be placed on multiple USB drives and provided to you. 
Those USB drives will then be uploaded to a computer that has been secured for you at the jail for you to access all of that information. I do not know anything about this other than my bunk being kicked at 3 o'clock in the morning telling me I have court. Ma'am, I have no other way to get in touch with you other than setting the hearing, which was set yesterday once I received confirmation from the jail as to the processes for how this would work. And I understand that your case is important, and I want to move it as efficiently, as diligently as possible. I know that you've been waiting for this information, and it took some time to confirm the process with the jail. You've advised me that you have very limited space, you have almost no privacy, you have a small drawer where you can keep some personal effects. We could not send all of those boxes with you to the jail, and the jail advised me that they cannot take all those boxes. A process had to be created, and this is the process. Isn't that what a certificate of service is for anything that's filed by anybody in the court? There, there that was should be included in that. Ma'am, there was no certificate of service for setting this for today. This was coordinated by the JA. You were advised as soon as it was set. It was set yesterday. It's just very odd to me that the news knew about it before I did. Again, I can't speak to that. And so nonetheless, my constitutional right to counsel is being forfeited on your behalf in the court. So now I don't get appropriate notice in preparation for me to be able to be here and doing what I'm supposed to be doing and act as and perform as? I've already addressed the reasons, ma'am, for why there was a forfeiture and alternatively a waiver in the 16-page order that you were provided. Again, it's difficult to communicate with you based on where your current housing is. How is it the news knows before my, I do? Uh, you keep asking the same question and the answer is going to be the same. I cannot answer that question for you because I do not know. Okay, but you do know it's harder for me. I, I would agree with that, yes. And you do know that you did not ask me any questions in regards to your order. You just read it straight off and never asked me what's what or how many with anything of it. Ma'am, there's if you have questions, I can certainly try to answer them. I'm trying to facilitate you getting that information. No one ever asks me. I've been waiting for the boxes. Um, I really don't know what to say, and because I supposedly have no way to contact you other than a letter, and the same for you, I don't know how the news crews got here before I did, but I don't know going forward how is it that I'm supposed to be able to communicate with you other than me sitting here in front of you at these, I guess, supposed surprise hearings that I'm going to have every single time that it is that you would like to speak to me. Is that what it's going to be? Ma'am, I cannot answer that question. All I can tell you is that you, you can communicate with the court through the avenues that you've been utilizing previously by and through letter writing. And if we have to set a hearing, you'll be properly noticed for it. Okay. Well, because I have no other way of contacting you other than in a letter, and it's AKA worldwide. So am I supposed to go back and speak to the captain and whoever else it is that I might need to speak to in order to receive these? Again, I cannot answer that question. All I can tell you is that we will have a hearing on August 5, whereby which uh, prison break investigations will provide all of the information on USB drives. Those will be provided to a representative from the Orange County Jail who will place all that information on a laptop for you to use and that's accessible for your use from 0800 to 1600 every day. Okay, but you do know it's harder for me.